hide to her place somewhere full of love and grace. I dream of fields with a cool ocean breeze, a home for my own family. When I got my wish, I pinched myself to make sure this home was real. They sent for a boy, but then I was a girl. My dreaming had just let me down again. If I came as a queen with long ebony hair, then maybe they'd feel I was worth it for them. I'm a good worker in spite of my talking. I've longed to belong here for all of my life. Don't send me away without seeing what I see. Everything I touch is full of delights. I'll do my best to not let you down. I can imagine a world full of joy. Just give me your hand and I'll teach you to hope. You'll find that I've something worthwhile. Just let me stay here, and I'll love you forever. I promise a life full of smiles. Loper. The what? The mouse! After it! Oh! We don't have to hurt the poor little thing. Silly. Diana! Aw, you let it get away. Over here. We'll never get it now. I assume we have a reasonable explanation for this little gathering. Uh, uh, uh. Yes, Miss King, there's a mouse. More than one. They're all over. We're besieged. The whole town is besieged. They're taking over. It's a veritable invasion. Oh, don't be so melodramatic. Look at this mess. Who's responsible for this? The invaders. Oh, for goodness sakes, not more of them. That's it. I have had enough. The mice must go. This is war. Best mouse traps made. One snap and the mouse dies instantly. Those mouse traps are cruel. There must be a way to trap mice without killing them. This is the dress I want. Six of your best mouse traps, Mr. Lawson. Please, Miss King. Yes, Anne. Please don't use Mr. Lawson's traps. They're so cruel. If I were a mouse, I would consider it a most undignified way to end my life. If you were a mouse, Anne Shirley, we wouldn't need a mouse trap to catch you. We just follow the sound of your incessant squeaking. But school is a place to learn about nature, not to destroy it. 
Mice are vermin. It's extremely unhealthy to have them in the school, no matter how charming you think they are. Miss King has a point, Anne. Mice cause a lot of damage. Everyone in Avonlea's been buying traps. I sold my last one only a few moments ago. You've no more traps. Only the ones I'm using in the store. Wouldn't do to have mice gnawing on my fabrics. You little pest! Take... <laughs> oh. Just wait until next time, wherever you are. <laughs> remember the mice ever this bad, Marilla. Not in Avonlea. I still think traps are most cruel, Mrs. Lynde. Don't let Matthew hear you say that. Mice have eaten so much of the feed in the barn, he's beside himself. And it's getting worse, I can tell you. I see them every day. Hordes of them. Streaming towards Avonlea like... like... An invasion? Exactly. May I have a look? I don't know what the town is going to do. Matthew is going to a town meeting. Maybe they can find a solution. So far, I have been spared this invasion. Not a single mouse has dared to show its face around my premises. <sighs> of course, I do keep my house spotless, unlike many others I could mention. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. I don't know why you bother. Your hair is such a lost cause. All my causes are lost. I keep telling people those traps are cruel, but nobody ever listens to me. <laughs> of course not. Why should they listen to someone who is inordinately sentimental about rodents? Oh, do be a friend. We should respect all living creatures. I wonder if mice respect people. It must be an enormous hardship to respect those that wish you ill. Mice cause damage. Try thinking like a farmer for a change, and <gasps> Don't you dare. Boo! You won't think they're so charming when dozens of them are in your food and in your bed and making nests in your shoes. But why not trap them alive and take them into the woods and let them go? <laughs> Silly goose, what's to stop them from coming back? I don't know. Well, that's something you had better think about. 20, uh, 2, 23, 24. Are you saying we should trap them and then let them go? Yes. What's the point? They'll just come back. Aha! Not if we take them to Tiger's Island. Nobody lives there and mice can't swim. It would make such a romantic home for them. Could work, I suppose. What happens to the mice is not my concern. Getting rid of them is. Look at this! A valuable book destroyed! We could put traps down. But we don't have any traps. Thank goodness. 
Due to the shortage of traps in Avonlea, this coming week's assignment will be to build a better mouse trap. You will work in pairs. In addition to teamwork, you will be marked on your mouse trap's originality, sturdiness, and effectiveness. Let these three ideals be your guide. You will bring your trap to school on Monday. You may begin now. Oh, Diana, I feel an enormous burden of responsibility has fallen on our shoulders. We have an opportunity to put an end to the terrifying snap of the hideous devices currently luring innocent mice to their doom. We must pledge our sacred honor that above all, our mouse trap cannot be cruel. And it must trap more than one mouse at a time. Oh, Diana, that's ever so perfect. I'll get paper. It should be about oh, this big no if we get a mouse trap than the one nature has created. Em, would you be my partner? I'm afraid I've already chosen Diana. You always choose Diana. You should try somebody else. I want to build the best mouse trap, Felix. I need someone with excellent marks, an inquisitive mind, and the wisdom of age. Now, is that you or Diana? Yeah. Diana. Exactly. You're standing here for a reason, Felix. I don't have a partner, Miss King. Oh, uh, well, uh, very well. Follow me. Ah! Oh, no. Felix is an odd man out, so I am placing him with your team. So, <laughs> where do we start? I agree that more bait will attract more mice, but how will the trap know when to close? A time mechanism? We could set the trap to close after five minutes. That won't work. The mice can go in, eat the bait, and leave in four minutes. Time mechanism is possibly not the best solution. <gasps> Look, over there! The mice are leaving the lake shore. Please, Felix. We're trying to do our work. But we should investigate. It might help us figure out why the mice are moving into Avonlea. I've seen enough mice, thank you. But we might discover... Felix. We must remain aloof and close our hearts to the sad faces and helpless pleas of those we intend to imprison. Tomorrow's Saturday. Let's meet at the school to build our trap. I'll try to come up with some ideas tonight. We're supposed to work as a team. Why won't they listen to me? Do you think we should paint it? It's a trap and not a work of art. A spider's web is a trap and it's very artistic. I'm sure that a mouse will find imprisonment much more comforting surrounded by beauty. Let's just test it first. Hey, where were you? I've been waiting at school for hours. We needed tools, so we came here instead. That's not what Miss King means by teamwork. Well, you're just in time to see the first test of our marvelous invention. That's it? How does it work? The bait goes in there. The mice run up, go inside, and eat the bait. When four or five mice are inside, their combined weight drops the floor down to the bottom. This pulls the roof down below the entrance, and voila! The mice are trapped. Except the way you built it. It's original, sturdy, and efficient. Sure to get top marks. Watch and marvel. Mouse trap. I don't care if it's cruel or not. 
As long as it works! <gasps> no! Solved all your problems yet? No, and I'm not coming in till I do. I'll tell Marilla there'll be one less for supper. No one listens to me about not killing mice. Even Diana is more concerned about getting a trap that works than a trap that is kind. All Felix cares about is finding out why the mice left the lake in the first place. Well, if the mice are invading Avonlea, there must be a reason. The boy might have a good point. Felix, a good point? Now, Anne, you complain that people aren't listening to you, but it doesn't sound like you're doing a lot of listening either. Why are they leaving the river? I wish they could just tell me. Why should they? Because... Felix thinks it'll help us build a better mousetrap. Did you listen to him? No. So why would you listen to a mouse? I'm sure you're a very sensible mouse. I certainly am. What would you like to know? Should we investigate the lakeshore or not? Will that help you build a better mousetrap? We won't know until we go there. It's worth a try. Diana, I've designed part of a mouse trap, but I need help. See, it's all here. Uh, we haven't time to look at your trap today. <laughs> we have important things to do. That's not fair. You never listen to me. I'm supposed to be part of this team, but you always do what you want. Today, Diana and I are going to the lake to investigate why the mice are leaving their homes. Sure, go ahead. Do what you want to. Huh? What did you say? The lake? That's my idea! <laughs> we know! And if we don't find anything, we're gonna throw you in! My idea! My idea! Hey, wait for me! Just like the pioneers, forging their way through uncharted forests. And we had a picnic here last year. Felix, you have not an ounce of romance in your soul. It's a terrible character flaw. You should work at correcting it before you become impossibly ordinary. I still don't see anything that explains why the mice are leaving. Maybe we should go back. We still need to make a trap for school tomorrow. Whoa. Whoa. Ah. My shoes are ruined. The ground shouldn't be muddy here. It's like a swamp. Could you two help me up? My mother is going to be furious. Let's go up there. I realize my ruined shoes may not be important to you, but you could at least show some... <gasps> Look! The whole area is flooded. We did have more rain this spring than usual. Mice, over there. Their homes are flooded. That's why they're leaving. Felix, you were right. I'm sorry I didn't listen to you earlier. Yes, I for one am glad you're on our team. Me too. Really? Really? Ah! <laughs> What we have here is a mixture of molasses and tar. The smell of the molasses attracts the mice, but when they step on the paper, they become truly stuck. Our trap is simple and cost-efficient. Shoo! Shoo! Excellent work, Felicity. We will place your trap in the corner. It seems that mice aren't the only pests that like the smell of molasses. 
I'm afraid that your trap will attract too many flies to be of any use. You never thought about flies. <laughs> Neither did you. Gilbert and Edward, could we see your trap, please? After much research, we determined that there was no better mouse trap than the one nature has created. <laughs> A cat? Not just any cat. This is the best mouser in the county. I declare that our mouse problems are over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Miss King, may I have permission to go to the creek and wash the molasses off? And Gilbert, please don't bring that cat back to school. And Diana, Felix, could we see your trap, please? Because our project is too big to bring to class, we have made a scale model. We intend to divert enough water to bring the lake back to normal. Just a moment. This is not a mouse trap. Once again, you haven't done the assigned work. You've led your team astray. But it was Felix's idea. I should never have placed you three together. I ask for a mouse trap, and I get this instead. Which is the best mouse trap of all? Please listen to him, Miss King. The question to ask is not how to get rid of the mice, but rather why the mice are in Avonlea in the first place. We discovered that the flooded lake was destroying their homes, so the best solution is to stop the flooding so the mice can go back. Then we won't need mouse traps at all. Will it work? Matthew thinks so. He's going to show it to the town council and encourage them to build one on a grand scale. Well, I must say, Felix, that you have led your team to an inspired solution. All three of you have earned the top score. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Legend has it that a Pied Piper of Hamlin was needed to rid the town of its rats. Avonlea is lucky to have three such pipers whose water-diverting idea has relieved our mouse problem considerably. <laughs> <laughs> to commemorate this momentous achievement, the town council would like to present a plaque to Anne Surly, Diana Barry, and Felix King. <laughs> now, where we had a lot of mice, we only have one plaque. <laughs> So you'll have to take turns hanging it on your wall. This plaque rightfully belongs to Felix. It was his idea and his solution. Diana and I just helped him out. A little. 